नमस्कार अवीक्षक रे प्रणाम साथियों एंड हेलो फेलो सेपियंस यू आर लिसनिंग टू मोटर ट्रैवलर अक्षय फ्रॉम दिस साइड ऑफ द वीडियो वोंट यू एग्री दैट मैसूरू पैलेस इज द मोस्ट ग्लोरियस एट द नाइट व्हेन इट्स लाइटिंग्स आर ऑन वी रीच्ड हियर एट मिडनाइट नाउ व्हाई वेयर वी हियर सो हियर्स द स्टोरी लेट्स ड्राइव अक्रॉस द केगुडी फॉरेस्ट व्हाइल आई नरेट इट friend one visits bengaluru from vijaypura after a long time he contacts everybody here that is three others to inform about his visit friend two wants to create a memory out of friend one's rare visit multiple options were discussed and we all square in on a night drive but then which direction to take our wildlife lover that is friend three decides to go to br hills and everybody instantly agrees and yes i am friend four who had no contributions to this plan other than agreeing to what others had to say but hey i did take the responsibility of documenting this trip and researching the details to be conveyed through this video so enjoy the wildlife the splendid visuals and the interestingly divine local stories that follow most of the vegetation in the kegudi area was all dry except for the last patch as we gained altitude where we saw some greenery let's now fall back in time for our initial drive through the forest and yes you can be our fifth friend in the gang by watching the full video and taking up the responsibility of liking sharing commenting and subscribing to this channel if you enjoyed this journey along with us i sincerely hope you will enjoy this experience just like we did the wildlife here seems to be quite curious the stories in this video are going to be quite interesting so stay and watch till the end so here we are driving to kegudi forest Let me continue my story and provide some information while you are busy spotting the wildlife. We reached early and slept over in the car at the Kegudi Forest Gate till 6 a.m. until the gates were opened. Kegudi got its name due to Kyata Devara Gudi Temple. Kegudi is located amidst the lush greenery of Biligiri Rangana Betta in Karnataka, India. It offers a peaceful experience surrounded by dense forests, wildlife and beautiful landscapes. It is ideal for nature lovers and wildlife lovers alike. Kegudi is a rare combination of wildlife sanctuary and a hill station. The hill is 3500 feet above sea level and is intermingled with valleys, streams and places of magnificent views. A variety of animals like elephants, tigers, leopards, deer, wild boars and a variety of birds can be spotted by opting for a jungle safari in Kegudi. Well, we couldn't get a safari as they were all booked and sold out. Well, you need not book a safari to spot the wildlife that you are seeing on screen now. And from what we heard from the safari goers that they didn't have much luck spotting any wildlife. We drove a bit further and found beautiful roads where we did some photography and videography. There was nobody around to disturb us at this early point of the hour. and then there was a host who found a few unexpected guests at its doorstep yes it was the jain malabar squirrel and kegudi is a home for many such squirrels as i mentioned earlier the wildlife here seems to be quite curious about humans now snap time it is we then arrive at the kegudi information center behind which is a beautiful lake These grasslands around the lake are filled with lush green grass usually but now at this time as i said the forest was quite dry with not much greenery to be found We did enjoy the lake view though with a hot cup of tea at this early morning non crowded hours I'll now let you enjoy the views of nature and wildlife that had come there for water But yeah you can hit the subscribe button in the meanwhile which motivates me and helps you find more such content in the future imagine all this browns replaced with greens that's how this place usually is The jungle lodges is located right next to this lake. Wow, what a place to stay. 
The Biligiri Rangan Betta or Biligiri Rangan Hills is a hill range situated in southwestern Karnataka near its border with Tamil Nadu's Iro district in the south. By road, it is about 90 kilometers from Mysore and 175 kilometers from Bangalore. The location mm. details are provided in the description below. The area is called Biligiri Rangana Swami Temple Wildlife Sanctuary or simply BRT Wildlife Sanctuary. It is a protected reserve forest under the Wildlife Protection Act of 1972. The site was declared a tiger reserve in January 2011 by the government of Karnataka. The hills are located at the northwest of the Western Ghats and the westernmost edge of the Eastern Ghats. Thus, this area supports a diverse flora and fauna in view of the various habitat types present. A wildlife sanctuary of 322.4 square kilometers was created around the temple in 1974 and enlarged to 539.52 square kilometers in 1987. The sanctuary derives its name Biligiri that is white hill in Kannada from the white rock face which is a major hill on which the temple of Lord Ranganatha Swami is built. The hills are in Chamarajnagar district of Karnataka. They are contiguous with hills in Satyamangalam wildlife sanctuary in Iro district of Tamil Nadu to the south the bihar hills are a starting point of the eastern ghats and contact the border of the western ghats allowing animals to move between them and facilitating gene flow between the species in these areas the ultimate song biligiri rangaya of the 1971 classic kannada movie sharapanjara was based on this temple according to the legend sage vasishtha did penance here to please lord ranganatha the lord appeared and blessed him the sage then consecrated lord ranganatha swami moola pratima here there are many interesting folklore stories about about Lord Ranganatha Swami the temple deity a huge pair of sandals is kept in the temple sanctum or garbagudi lord is believed to wear them and go roaming in the forest at night daily once in 2 years the solika tribes present a 1 foot 9 inch slipper made of skin to ranganatha swami an annual festival will be held in the month of april with cross pilgrims from far away lands It is said in the tribal Janapada story that Lord Ranganatha was wandering in the forest and happened to meet the Solika tribal girl Kusumale with whom he fell in love with and married her. The Solika tribal inhabitants consider Lord Ranganatha as their brother-in-law. The oldest reference of this place can be found in the Brahmanda Purana. The Puranas call this place Champakaranya, the flower forest of Champaka and also Gajaranya, the elephant forest where a large number of elephants were once found. The history of the present temple dates back to the year 1667 that is 17th century and has been built by the then Palayagara Sri Muduraja of Adinadu and these hills were given as datti to the Lord Purnaya of the erstwhile Mysuru Samsthana of Wadayar period. It is said that Lord Rama and Lakshmana had visited this kshetra on their way to searching Sita Devi. Lord Parshurama who is an incarnation of Lord Ranganatha himself beheads his mother as ordered by his father Sage Jamadagni. It is said that he did penance at this hillock and worship Lord Ranganatha to absolve him from matruhatya dosha. I hope you enjoyed the stories and visuals. Request to like, share, subscribe and as I usually say pour down your emotions in the comment section below. Thank you.